Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Captain Frank Hawks. Um, I have been having a little trouble getting videos out, but I'm going to try to crank out a few decent videos and try to uh, get you guys up to speed. So as you guys know, I like Nerf. This is the Dart Zone Pro Mark II. This is an $80 uh, half-length dart Nerf pistol. It is slide primed. It has an internal magazine. It has a safety, which I find a little silly for a Nerf gun. Um, I uh, we need to talk, okay? Because I don't know if you can hear that. A lot of people have been singing the praises of this little blaster. And I've got to tell you, there are a few things. Give me a sec here. There are a few things that I take issue with. I'm just going to try to grab some random darts. Um, here is a... Uh, a uh, worker mark three oops I just screwed that up a worker mark three oh yeah I guess it is worker mark three mark two and one of these good little googies here and I'm just gonna push this in prime it. One's in the barrel, two are in the magazine. Now I want you to imagine that I'm running. Okay, I'm running for cover. And I am trying to get myself into a position where I can fire off a shot. I'm in position, I take aim, I make my shot. Okay, and then I go to prime. And but this time, this time it worked. That's shocking. And I go to prime the next one. Usually that's about where I have a problem. And so I'm primed, I'm ready to go, and I start running again. I start running again. And I get to my next place, and I aim up, take my shot. So this time around, what has happened is all three have lined up. This is not my experience in the field. Okay, sitting down, not doing anything. This, this is normal. And this is what you see in the bulk majority of the videos out there, is normal standard usage. However, that is not what regularly happens to me in the field. Because I'm just sitting here. I can't really demonstrate. I don't know if you can hear that. That's the follower spring and the follower bouncing up and down. Okay, and I'm just trying to simulate here even though I know it's not going to be the same here as my experience in the field. My experience in the field is very different than this. My experience in the field is I'll get one or two shots off. Mind you, I don't hold this like this in the field. Okay. And what ends up happening, and it's not doing it right now, I'm, I'm about to get minorly peeved. What happens is, is I will get us, and I'm just going to do it by hand so that you can see, is I will get a situation that looks something like this. Whether it's on my hip or I'm just running and gunning, I will get a shot off and then this happens. Or the transverse of that tails down, 
you're being a stinker would be heads up, which is another thing that I have experienced. The two lower darts. And the reason why, first of all, is that the follower spring is very light. It's very low impact and it's very weak. It's very easy to depress in any capacity. And I'm, I'm going to try to do it again, except I'm going to hold it right this time. I'm going to do it with four. Let's see if it even remotely makes a difference. Didn't. All of these loaded just fine. Why the hell you don't do that in the field? I don't know. But seriously, my experience in the field is not this experience here. My experience in the field is two heads up or two tails down and it creates a jam. My experience in the field is that this, this follower and spring is so light that when you run with it at all in any capacity what ends up happening is any room down here the follower bounces and when it bounces it turns darts and creates a jam so uh, the video that I did on the flak with its failure uh, literally speaking uh, that failure occurred I pulled this out and went to engage I got one shot off before I reprimed that didn't do shit before I reprimed and there was a jam it wouldn't fire anymore I literally had to uh, uh, figure out what was going on I literally had to dig darts out with my pinky finger to figure out what was happening before I saw the cause of the problem and it happened over and over and over again I extra stacked the darts even though I, I don't believe that you should do that like I, I would put six in there push them down beneath I'm not gonna open it again beneath the uh, beneath this piece right here and put an extra dart on top so that I could get a more even load and it would not work you know it, I I don't know if there is even a way to demonstrate what I'm talking about but there there is some serious looseness in here I don't know how well you can hear that okay and that looseness leads to problems serious problems on the battlefield in this office setting just sitting down trying to emulate this is not enough because you know as well as I do while you're on the field you are more physically active so there's that problem that's strike one by the way strike two it looks and feels like a pistol in a dark setting this would be mistaken for a pistol okay I have never been stopped by a police officer and been like is that a gun or anything like that but this is a little too close to reality for my taste especially when you have nitwits out there who are doing things like 3d printing a firearm that is colored in Nerf colors that is a firearm okay it, it requires a little bit more than that but I'm not gonna go into that detail um, the holster holds it very well I, I could dare say I could put it on my chest like this 
or have it in some kind of an upside down fashion if I needed it to be either on my person or, or something like that or have it sideways if I could turn this sideways I, I even tried to modify it it's not modifiable by my tools or skilled so that it would lay sideways so that it would lay like this against my back because this is very secure you have to be deliberate about pulling it out and I like that a lot that's a bonus however it's lack of functionality on the battlefield doesn't make it worth the price okay at all whatsoever I'm, I'm gonna say it as loudly and as clearly as I can dart zone I want my money back okay because this doesn't do the job okay I, I would rather put that money towards something Captain Slug made which I know is significantly more reliable than something that has such a weak follower spring that doing that is enough to move it. Okay, everything else on this pistol is tight. Okay, uh, blaster, I should say. I should say blaster. Everything else on this blaster is tight. It is tight, it does not rattle or anything like that. The major failing with this is its lack of ability to feed correctly in a stressful situation. When you are employed and you are doing what it is that you have to do and you are, you know, doing your gun mojo kata BS just to just to get that shot. You know what I mean? You're behind the barrier and you're doing this shit. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. Um um, the only, there are professionals out there who don't do that shit. They're not like hiding behind the barrier, going, "Can I, can I make this shot?" Can I? Okay, and then there's you and me. But um, yeah, um, I'm very disappointed in this. I am, I am extremely disappointed in this and frustrated by it. Um, if it doesn't feed correctly, it is useless. It is useless, and I would have to come up with something completely different in order to make magazines for this that have a stronger follower spring. And I am not brave enough to open this up and add a stronger follower spring. I feel that that should be something it just comes with. So, um, in closing, I'm sorry, Dart Zone. I really am. But so long as it does not feed correctly, it is useless. And so long as it is useless, it gets two thumbs down on my channel. I'm serious, though. I want my money back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am screwing it up. Have fun, be safe, take care of each other. My name is Captain Frank Hawks. Y'all have a good day.